What's up guys, Houndish here, and at the next weekly reset on the 23rd of April, we're going to see the next two brave weapons introduced into the game, and that includes the Forbearance, as well as the Hammerhead machine gun, so as well as the reprised Vow of Disciple weapon, we're finally getting our hands on one of the Black Armoury weapons once again, and as in previous weeks, initially, we'll get a new quest for the weapon at our site, so there is Bring Down the Hammer for the Hammerhead, where we need to rapidly defeat combatants using machine guns anywhere in the system, and we get bonus progress for rapid final blows in Onslaught, or we can defeat combatants in Vanguard Ops activities using machine guns, and we get bonus progress for higher difficulty nightfalls. Then there is the Forbearance quest, which requires us to rapidly defeat combatants using breech-loaded grenade launchers anywhere in the system. And once again, we get bonus progress for rapid final blows in Onslaught, or we can defeat combatants in raids or dungeons using grenade launchers. So that's pretty much the same quest as Mountain Tar. But looking at the weapons themselves, Forbearance, of course, is a waveframe arc grenade launcher, and it's actually incredibly similar to the original role of the weapon, with just a couple of minor changes. For the curated role, this will be the one that we get the limited edition version of with the quest, and it will come with stats for all, as well as chain reaction, so that's a pretty decent role in itself. But in slot 1, Forbearance can get Disruption Break, Unrelenting, Ambitious Assassin, Demolitionist, Stats for All, Surplus, or Steady Hands. Then in slot 2, Chain Reaction, Desperate Measures, Bait and Switch, Wellspring, Golden Tricorn, One for All, or Rampage. So there are actually only a couple of brand new bonuses on this, and so roles like Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction or Rampage are still going to be really popular. Ambitious and Chain Reaction was pretty much the Forbearance God role. Equally, we can still get Surplus and Chain Reaction or Rampage, but Demolitionist has been added in the first trade slot, and this could pair really well with Desperate Measures, as both of those perks are affected by use of grenades. But Demolitionist obviously is probably pretty solid with most damage bonuses or Chain Reaction as well, so things like Demolitionist and One for All could be solid, and Disruption Break is a new first slot perk as well. And so obviously, if you don't already have a very good roll of Forbearance, this is going to be an opportunity to do so without requiring the raid. But I'd be curious for any folks who already have it, which roles are you going to be looking out for on the Brave version of the weapon? Let us know in the comments section. But next up, of course, Hammerhead returns as well. This is an adaptive frame void machine gun. And the curated roll, which we'll get on the limited edition variant from the quest, has fourth times the charm, as well as killing tally. So that in itself is a pretty solid pairing. And then trait slot one, we can get rewind rounds, fourth times the Charm, Envious Assassin, Under Over, Destabilizing Rounds, Rampage, and Feeding Frenzy. Then in the second slot, we're able to get Onslaught, Killing Tally, Desperate Measures, High Impact Reserves, Surrounded, Target Lock, or Tap the Trigger. And so Rewind Rounds, 4th times the Charm, or Envious Assassin are great reload or ammo bonuses. Envious Assassin and Killing Tally could be good for a huge high damage magazine, but 4th times the Charm or Rewind Rounds paired with Onslaught could be pretty solid. But obviously there is the option of Destabilizing Rounds and a damage bonus there as well. And interestingly, the weapon can pair two damage bonuses, so Rampage in the first slot with Killing Tally or Desperate Measures in the second slot could potentially be pretty bonkers. On top of that, Rampage Onslaught could be really fun as well. Those are the standouts to me, but once again, let us know down below what you're most interested to look out for on these weapons. And for today, that does it for a quick preview of the upcoming weapons this week. So give us your thoughts below. If you found the video useful, a rating really does help us out on the channel as well. Plus, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. But otherwise, cheers for tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.